Yeah, so they, I'm, uh, no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So like freaking uh, Anakin Skywalker, I almost fell into a volcano now. I will have to become a dictator of the galaxy or something now. What do you think about the, uh, the volcanic activity? It's very hot <laughs> and smelly. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hot volcano, hot women. Okay, so I'm here in Valencia in the mountains in Nagos Island and this is a really cool spot uh, unfortunately there's a little bit of construction noise today but I will yell so we are on the way to the hot springs here Red Rock Hot Springs highly recommended and behind me right next to the road is this area with a hot volcanic vents so there is geothermal activity because obviously the Philippines are in the I have to get off the road the Philippines are on this Pacific arc of fire so uh, the Philippines are composed of what's called the, the Philippine conveyor belt I believe so this is a collection of small tectonic plates which move in different directions and uh, the island of Negros is, um, comes from this volcanic activity and uh, there are two volcanoes, Mount Palinis and Mount Canlaon and here in Valencia the volcanic activity is so close to the surface and it's, you know, these volcanoes don't erupt anymore recently but uh, the, uh, the magma heats water and that comes up and you can see there's a lot of sulfur hence the parts of the rocks are colored yellow and there's a lot of iron so the parts of the you can see that behind me parts of the walls are covered in in red color and so highly interesting it's really also there's a lot of hydrogen sulfide here so you can smell this this really smells like rotten eggs um, this is very interesting also because we come here every couple of months and it changes over the years sometimes there's more of that activity sometimes there's less of the geothermal activity so let's check out some more of this volcanic uh, this volcanic action Okay, so now we are near Red Rocks Hot Spring, which is very close to these vents and it's highly recommended and I mean, uh, check out the amazing view. So you can essentially take a hot bath uh, while looking at these amazing cliffs. Now, we're going to do a, first we're going to wait till the motorcycle passes, um, we're going to do a sports science experiment. I did some chin-ups yesterday, which is a good challenge if you weigh uh, 107 kilos anyway I tore the lower part of my left uh, back muscle uh, the lats right and um, I've never torn that before so we're gonna see if the volcanic water heals uh, in kind of a miracle healing this mild sports injury Okay, number one, it actually worked. Uh, my del, uh, my lats don't hurt anymore. Now, number two, very interesting here. So, this is a little creek which you see here behind me, and going into a river, and that's uh, full of iron.
and down there you can see a actual river that little creek I just showed you feeds into that river and again the river is just loaded with iron rich minerals from the geothermal activity here so I hope you enjoyed this topside adventure please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of that of course there will be scuba diving content again very soon and please check out my books the links are in the description the lives of gobies of course and then your brain on diving about the brain science of scuba diving and coming very soon with dr james reimer 25 future dives about environmental problems in the future see you soon